approach uh, tackles deterministic output. Um, to say that any ciphertext can be put to any plain text, uh, instead of having just a random ciphertext, let's construct the ciphertext that's completely stacked regardless of the plain text. And this is what probabilistic encryption did. Now, when uh, Goldwasser formulized this in the 70s, what was the most secure crypto system to date uh, in theory? And in practice, this method you know, fairly inefficient because just like the one time character, you have keys with the same size as the So it's, it's merely a theoretical approach. Uh, but it does give you that unbreakable perfect secrecy as the one time character did. Um, Goldwasser's system, which was asymmetric, this could be adaptive asymmetric, but it's generally symmetric since it's system was subject to a chosen ciphertext attack. Uh, due to the quadratic residues in the system, uh, you're able to factor uh, the fifth square root within the system. I'm not going to go in depth because that you know, would tend to be us. Um, uh, but with enough work, you can break the system. Uh, and if it was true for any protocol, uh, given enough time and effort, uh, implementation, that's the area where most areas necessarily in the algorithm used but in the you know a big uh, fault in the protocol and you know, it's never been and uh, a lot of cryptography security is diminished when you start having to deploy it as a practical setting. And because there's so many other segments of security besides cryptography uh, that you must learn to uh, deploy an algorithm correctly. takes a, a mathematical prowess, so to speak. That's where it uh, separates the mathematicians from the cryptographers, the ones that, that have the, the knowledge to, uh, to explore this art and to design a cipher, the ones that really know what they're doing. Uh, that pretty much concludes this. This is a, 
rendering equal probability via deterministic output. It's, uh, like I said, it sort of explores the other end of the spectrum from one-time pads, which was a fairly popular but infamous during the 1917 era, uh, otherwise known as the Vernam cipher. Um, was there any questions? Any at all? All right. All right. Well, I appreciate your time. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, it, like I said, it is available at securityforums.com. Uh, we, we got the sites based in, we got .co, .co UK. Uh, so you can pick up a copy there. Uh, but I will have this published soon, and I'm working on the book, which is going to explore the, uh, ba basically cryptographic protocols. And I'm working alongside Philip Zimmerman and to do an outline on the open PGP specification and the adaptation of that to uh, in a wide-scale use in an asymmetric environment. Uh, but that book should be available shooting for January. Uh, it's going to be approximately 400 pages, and I'm more than likely we'll, we'll publish this along with some other side notes in cryptography. So it will be available on your, you know, Barnes & Noble, Amazon, stuff of that nature. All right, we'll do it. Anything else? All right, appreciate it.